Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, so I tip the scales for another game of Neverwinter Nights 2. Well, let's get moving. There's a uh, thing to do in the Blacklight District, which also is important to perform. For experience points, mostly. Mostly experience points, but... As we head over here... I told you to go home, Keely! No! You're not supposed to be going into the graveyard! I swear, I'll tell father! You little rat, you wouldn't! She'll ruin everything, Liz, but shut her up or I will! Ahem. <clears throat> I choose my next words very carefully, ladies. Oh, wait. We're not looking for trouble. It's nothing. We're just trying to get rid of my little sister. That's right. Now, so go away and mind your own business. It's nothing. They're going to the old crypt a bunch of bullies and father told Liz, but not to. Hmm. Well, like, who asked? What exactly are you doing in a crypt with boys? But the answer is obvious. Necromancy! Duh! Don't all kids do that when they're young and when they're nearby, nearby the dead, they they start pouring necromantic rituals? Yeah. Maybe you like some company then. <laughs> yeah. Don't invite us, you'll steal all the boys! Well, plenty to go around. <laughs> no, I forget about no place for childish games. Oh, really? Lawful? Lawful? <laughs> well, uh. So your sister needs to be found. She's in there, huh? Who are those friends? It's a merchant's daughter, and one of the nine. So, her uncle was one of the nine. <laughs> but Savannah's probably unsure, certain. How about I go find them? Are you sure? They're dark and depressing and mean! <laughs> yes, face much worse than dark clad boys. Yeah, I mean, come on. Emo people? Melanie's right, let's go in. Let's go into the crypt and find out what's going on. Into the crypt we go. How cryptic of us. Alright, this is going to, um,. Alright, so it seems, to be, it seems to be simple enough. These people have dyed their hair in all sorts of strange and wacky colours, and they're all... They're all standing around, as if, you know... Hmm... Some rituals going on. Eee! Who invited them?! Um... Perhaps you will be <laughs> getting rooms with the Moonstone Mask. You're not our parents! We can do whatever we want, and it's none of your business! Anyway, this is a private party! Nobody invited you, dude! Someone's in trouble. We should get the kids out of the crypt now. Alright, let's go find out what that was. You know what's going to happen, right? They're all gathered for some kind of ritual. They're actually going to attack me. It's obvious. It's obvious what's going on here. Die, ghouls! You don't belong in this world! It was up by my hand! Wait, you can cast turn on dead, can't you? You're, you're a, um... No, sorry, it was Cassavia, but he's not here. Um, someone could cast Turn Undead, I think. Oh, sorry, it was this guy, yeah. He was Sand. I gave him the spell Undeath to Death. Works like this. Uh, it works like this. You fire it there. You then bear that. Okay, wait a second. I think it's supposed to be an area of effect. So, just throw it there. Of course, I can do that. So while everyone's busy attacking these ghouls. Okay, I guess that didn't work. <laughs> Undeath to death is supposed to instantly kill them. Well, I just stopped those ghouls. I stopped those ghouls from causing any harm to the girls. There are enemies nearby. Vivira and Lorali. I can't pronounce it. Lorali. Ah, I can never pronounce that. Vera, she's rescuing us. What do we do now? The Thralls, they're all dead! You slaughtered them! Do you have any idea how long it took us to raise those things? Shawman's hour? Seriously, learn necromancy! Properly! Don't read... Ask Quar about it! Don't read, don't study from books and stuff about it! Oh look, they're all gathering here. Raise them? My fault, dear dude! She came in looking for Lizbeth, but it was only the six of us! I didn't think she'd have a chance against your, uh, friends! The dead ones, I mean! Uh, seriously guys? Seriously? The undead? 
You're gonna use zombies against me? Eh. Uh, you have no idea what you, who you're dealing with. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, yeah. Again, might have referred to you the fact that I stand taller than two of you standing on each other's shoulders, and I have a big sword and a big shield. I can cut you all to pieces with a sword. Slice dead. Oh! Rise again in shadow. Our king promises. Oh, we have to... Hmm... Oh, the King of Shadows! They all work for the King of Shadows! No! Alrighty then. Prepare your spells for... Yay, let's attack. <laughs> Sand is awesome. Like, when he, um... Sand has also got this, um, one where... When he's looking at times, he's like, you know... I think it is time everyone marches behind me! Your new glorious leader! He's such a character. But again, as wizards, wizards are hard to micromanage. Because you've got to, you got to assign the spell books, you've got to pick the spells they want. For a sorcerer, they get a limited amount of spells at every level, but... You know, you don't have to... You don't have to go through all, the, all of them and pick the ones you think you want. I don't know, it's... Probably, okay, so the same thing, but... It's different on how, I, how, I, on, how on application. Wizards can use more spells, but I don't want to use more spells, I want a set of spells. Freedom of choice. I want freedom from choice. Oh, a blank scroll. You can't use a blank scroll. No one can scribe. Well, I think Sand can, because wizards automatically can scribe scrolls. Because, uh, you know, they studied it. Sorcerers cannot, because they didn't study it. Yeah. Oh, you got a... Wait, you're onto a loot there? Of course, I can do that. Oh, bollocks. Oh, come on, for the love of mate, for the love of Joaquin. Step up to the You're supposed to be armed with a sling. But I guess, you know, he he gets he gets alone a loot because of the um loot hero thing. Yeah, the loot hero thing just gives you a loner. And it gives him one as well. In case you want to do a duet, even though you don't do it. You don't do it. Relax. Alright. Into the Bryce Crypt we go. This is one big crypt, you know. Ah, oh, we've got some Shadow Priests. As usual, go after the Shadow Priests. Ignore everyone else, hit the Shadow Priests. Because they can summon things, they can raise more undead. Plus, you know, they're spellcasters. Just kill spellcasters, it's... Oh, looks like our, um, looks like Chandra's been blinded and made, rendered deaf. And we've got more ghouls coming in, and too bad Sand can't cast a spell which can solve the problem. So, we're just going to beat the crap out of these guys until they uh, until they give in, until they say uncle. Yeah. All dead. All dead. Take their loot, of course, because, you know, I've already, actually, I've already taken someone's loot. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, I've already taken a loot loot today. Why not take even more loot? Alright, into the temple we go. Further in. Okay, some of the stuff you're supposed to be able to loot, but you can't. So, you're just gonna keep moving. More shadow initiates. They summon, they of course, summon animals to go attack. And of course, AI priority might say, hey, attack the, um... Attack these animals instead of the um, summoner. I mean, when playing games, like when playing games, has anyone ever actually like when when someone summons a, a minion or something, has anyone ever went, all right, I'm going to attack this minion rather than the monster, rather than the guy who summoned it? That's the way I see it. I always attack the person who summons the minion, so they don't summon any more. I have not actually, I don't think in any case actively actively targeted the minion. I mean, the AI can target it, but. I don't think I've ever actively targeted an enemy, a uh, minion. Ooh, another luck stone. Like, I need those. I don't need luck stones. I make my own luck. Chromatic breastplate plus one. And a full plate plus one. So if you didn't um, enchant your armor, this is the first time you see a plate plus one full plate. Chromatic breastplate. Also somewhat useful. It provides a bit of resistances, but it's medium armor. Got some in DQ's armor. The mirror shield. 
plus three, spell resistance of twelve. Again, if it wasn't a um, wielding a mithril shield, which allows you to cast spells without penalty, I'd probably wield it. Probably. Then enchant it. But, you know how that works. Oh dear. It looks like we have some, um... Looks like we have some people here. Oh god, it's her! What do we do? Uh... Um, do you truly believe that? Yeah. Okay, looks like I'll kill everyone. Unfortunate. Unfortunate how things have to go, but looks like I have to kill everyone. Troll kissing orc. Uh, let's see. Well, you fire the magic missile. Oh, you just you can't disintegrate. Never mind. Uh. Well, you're gonna die first then. If you, have a, if you have a good diplomacy check, you can actually, um... Yeah, you can actually convince... Convince her not to, um... Yeah. You can convince her she's doing stuff wrong, and then she'll run away. But, you know, I didn't make the diplomacy check. You get more experience points also if you rescue her Savannah. You get more experience points for rescuing Savannah and a whole bunch of other people. Oh, Wall of Blades, is it? Not my Wall of Blades. Oh, I should actually mention now, I actually have the skill. I swapped out one of my Warlock spells for, um... I swapped out Draining Blast for the, um... For Beguiling Influence. So now I actually have... I probably can do a bit of diplomacy and intimidate checks on people. Well... Yeah, Nishka, you do... Is, no, is this the time you... Sorry. You can't do it? No, sorry. I thought I had the key. Oh, I haven't looted it off Raven. That's so not Raven. Well, so Raven. There we go. Now I can open up the tomb. How can I help? Uh, I said Everyone open up a tomb. Me. Uh, no. I say right. Yes. Okay. Lose the item. You know, interchangeable antimatter keys. Once the key is used up, it disappears. It disintegrates in the lock. <gasps> no! Someone died. No! Arvel and that's Elizabeth Bryce. Murderer. Oh, quite the contrary. She will be the first to achieve divine union with global saturation with our king, not the crude undeath which lies in store for you, but a true joining of souls. <laughs> and it is only the first step. I have unearthed truths long ago, and I have already sent word of my discoveries to my brothers and sisters in shadow. Trust me, you don't want to fight me. I seek to save you from your ignorance, nothing more. But like a child, you persist in your fear of the dark. I pity you, truly. <laughs> ah, well, death will render you far more compliant. We will speak again after you have breathed your last. <laughs> yeah, you've got to... <laughs> You've got to do the mad scientist thing with this guy. Go! Kill them all! Murder him! Murder! Murder time! Fun time! Now, I can't be knocked over by these monks over here. Because they have the, they have the, knock, they have the improved knockdown skill. But, you know, because I've... Because my... Oh, I've been stunned. I can still get stunned, though. But they, so do they. Can anyone cast restoration here? Oh, you used them all up. Well, at least can you just... Just cast it or something? Oh, and... Okay, everyone's dying. And we lost our spell casters. Great, so now I can't really revive... Oh, I can revive them if that stun effect ends. Everyone dead yet? Okay, everyone gone? Is it stun, Is it stun leaving? Well, at least someone else can rest on while well, not under the influence of a stun. There we go, stun's over. What do you want? Oh, oh right, yes. Grobnar can actually do healing as well. Here, go go revive Sand. Yes. What do you want? Yay, everyone's everyone's back, everyone's cured. Hooray! Now before I do anything else, I could talk to Lizbeth about what's going on, or 
you know, loot, loot a few things, go around. What? I want to loot this guy, thanks. Can't loot her, I can loot Arvel. Although he's supposed to have a journal. Now, all these bodies are still here, even though I've looted them. Weird, isn't it? Now, for some reason... <laughs> for some reason, he doesn't carry the key to his own study. Which, uh, so how, does, how is he supposed to get into here? Oh well. He's trapped his own chest. Uh, you want to cast yes. a restoration spell on me? I don't like my strength being reduced. What do you want? Even though I can have plenty of it. Okay, Arvel's journal. Oh, I need to take it. Yeah. So basically, it's um, sent words at Old Owl Well. So this guy's been doing experiments in the city and sending it out to the priests out, w out where the orc tribes are. So that's how um, those students got trans. Those, those students over in the um, Old Owl Well got turned to those trolls who retain their arcane power because Arvel sent them word on how to do it. But, you know, plant, the plant ended in total failure. Keep away from me! He isn't dead! I can bring him back! And look at that, shadows appear. I think it is time everyone march behind me, your new glorious leader. <laughs> oh, Sand, you're such a fun... You're such a cat classic. Alright, undeft, undeft, to dead, whatever. That killed like two shadows, okay? Not, not bad, but you could have done better than that. Now here comes an escort mission. Ugh, escort missions. It, it didn't work. He's gone. He's really gone. But <laughs> you can knock her out, but you can't drag her body back. Um, those shadows would have killed me. No, you don't understand, the ritual didn't work, it wasn't strong enough, those shadows were just echoes. Or perhaps you aren't... Arvel and the others, they should have been joined with the King of Shadows, don't you see? That's why I made all those symbols, all these markings, I said the words, but I was too weak. How did he learn that that was ritual? He had books, but never looked at them. I don't think Arvel loved anyone. Oh, she raised everyone in the crypt then. Stay close to me! Issue command. Yeah. Escort mission. She's like... To examine this person. 30 hit points. Level 5 cleric. Doesn't actually do much in combat. So it's best actually that you, um... Just get through it. Just power on through. But I can see why the ritual failed. Because she's only a level 5 cleric. Yeah. The thing is though, is that the enemy will... The enemy loves to prioritize targeting... Targeting her. So, keep her, keep her back and don't have to worry about her hit points. No enemy, enemies are not going to spawn behind me, unlike in, um, unlike in Command and Conquer Renegade, where I had to keep close to Sydney Mobius, or else some stealth troop will appear out of nowhere and kill her. While I'm you know, halfway across the map. Unable to help her out. Yeah. But yeah, I hate these escort missions. And of course, it's gonna be a big shadow fight in the um. Right, fine. I'm gonna bring Lisbeth over. Hey, Lisbeth, come over. Come on. We've got a lot of slaughtering to do. Kill them all. Right, all the shadows are dead. You don't get anything from them because they're shadows. Ooh, you get a lot of experience points with the shadows, though. I mean, holy crap! It's like a weapon just floating in space. And, uh, and she dies. She hasn't got any health potions. So if she dies, that's it. And I don't think she carries a weapon either, so... Yeah, she, carry, she doesn't carry a weapon, so... If she tries to attack, enemies will give it, get, get attacks of opportunity. So yeah. It's not... It's not the... It's um pretty much... She's not a very good fighter to work with. But she slaughter all the shadows before... That, you, that she comes to any harm. La 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 la, another greater shadow to die. Welcome to die. Eleni, you got any more spells we can use? Don't use, don't use Kona, don't, by the way, don't use frost spells on shadows, that'd be yeah. stupid. Because, you know, frost spells and shadows, seriously. 
the uh, embodiment of and you use energy immunity fire because we all know shadows are well known for their ability to co conjure fire yeah that's yeah logic do you know of it so look all those bodies hey look her shield's still up everyone's dead but Lisbeth's fine and all the shadows are gone so it's time to get get a move on out of this crypt. Didn't save Savannah, but just means I lose out on it. Hmm. He have deceived a lot of people. She would have wandered down here in the gloom. Uh, she's thanking me for, sa for saving her. Okay, character portrait's gone. Pity I didn't save Savannah. Then again, she was an idiot. <laughs> everyone's saying but the uh, ah bloody bollocks camera characters in the way righty then gave you my work it was all true close call uh built some coins yeah all right so i gained 2000 experience points for that quest i think i gained like 3000 if i um yeah i think i gained 3000 point experience points if i get the um for Rescue Savannah. So, I missed down quite a lot there. Anyway, there's uh, one more thing to do in the Black Lake District, and that is I've got to prove that the um, Nishka is the um, greatest thief of all. Okay, actually, there's several more things I need to do in Black Lake. Which um, I think I'll. I think I'll do the um, undercover one. That seems to be a quick mission. I mean, that, one, that one's got a bit more, complica it's a bit more complicated. You know, the old, like, as you rob that place, Lowden appears and he does stuff, and he basically talks, has a lot of dialogue with Nishka. The Nishka's like, you know, there, 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 I'm better than you, and stuff happens, so. Something easy, something simple. Let's go to this, let's go to this room. Let's go here. Uh, pretend to be someone else. Okay. I should have applied my charisma bonus beforehand. Here's our undercover watchman. Captain Bray Lana Taurus, you do expect you. How's it going to work? You expect to be Lady Ganish, a black market arms dealer, newly arrived from arm. The other men and I are posing as your servants. We can't arrest the thieves until money has changed hands. Don't blow your cover too early. And do your best to gain their trust. If they sense a trap, all bets are off. When you are ready, we can bring in the buyers. Let's do it. Hmm. Um... I don't think I could do a bluff check. I am. Who are you? Name's Lim. Huh. Can't say I've ever seen a noble dressing him and get up, that, get up before. Helps me prepare in my line of work. Anyways, we got business. My associates and I understand you. Come across some trinkets we might take a fancy to. We'd be interested in seeing what you've bought. I'll show you the goods. Oh. <sighs> Bloody hell. Why do I bother with the why do I bother with the intimidate check? Half price it is then. Fine. You suppose correctly. And that should be adequate. We do. Top account one, two. It's a fake. It's a failure. And then assassins appear. Uh, quick, Eleni, throw lightning. See that that's a uh. Simple quest that can just go horribly wrong because, and San again cast disintegrate on the first person. Yay! Yeah, I'm not very good. <laughs> like seriously, even if you get it, like you have, you have to win at least one of those checks. I think in order to get the um, best outcome. I think you have to win them all actually to get the best outcome. But in order to make them trust you, you got to um. You gotta at least pass one of those checks. I didn't, and that's what happens. And of course, now I got some sweet, sweet loot. Let's go with the sweet, sweet loot. And of course, you can talk to the um, not yes. Grobner, the undercover. What do you want? Well, I don't think anyone died. How many watchmen were there? Four. Okay, someone died then. Yeah, there were four of them, and there's now three of them left. So I saved a life. Woohoo! 
you're playing as a thieves guild, it's the opposite. The opposite happens. You got to actually talk to Ganesh, and you know you got to then do a trade and stuff. And then turns out it was actually a um, it was a trap. So yeah, just keep that in mind. As okay, this cloak's actually. All right, I'm sick of wearing this. Um, I'm sick of wearing the city watch cloak. Just checking all the items here. Rogue links. Useful, but at the same time, no. Yeah, because everyone's got a, everyone's got everyone's got a breastplate or something. Although, actually, maybe he could wear it. No, that's, that's plus four. And this is plus three. Can he actually can he actually wear it? Yes, he can. Reduces his armor by two, but wow, it looks looks nice. But then again, he's actually not he's not sneaking around, so I'll just sell it. Like a lot of my items, I'm just going to go sell them, okay? Alright. So I'll talk, I'll talk to Captain Braylander about the, um, about the deal. How it failed, because I suck at diplomacy. And then I'll go hand off Arvel's journal at, um, at Lord Nasher. And then, I can then do the Thieves quest afterwards. Yeah, you, know, you can never arrest those thieves, it always ends in a fight. It just always ends in a fight. Yeah, these are not children. Those are those are those are halflings. You got halfling mages. <laughs> yeah, how do you left the city yet? But you know, hey, Lord Nasher, I found this journal. You might want to have a look at. So yeah, I go. To, I can talk to Lord Nasher directly about this journal I found, and yeah, he's always sitting on his throne. I'm not good for his posture. Uh, we found this. We found this journal. Uh, many star cloak examined at once. All right, and you get 500 experience points, and I get some gold for it. 200 gold. Jeez, no wonder people. No wonder people are not making a lot of money. I get 200 gold for handing in a book. Wow. Best thing ever. It's handing in a book, and I get a lot of money for it. I just, I just started a business about that. Anyway, I've been Stars RJ and I tip the scales in the favor of Neverwinter. Oh, Signing like off. That.